I'm Adam Schiffel with Driving Cells, where the auto industry comes to connect with one another, to learn the answers to the industry's toughest questions, and to drive those results into their dealership. Today, we're doing the community whiteboard. And today's topic is background music and cells. So, let's get this going. So, let's talk about this question. Brian Randio said, hey, we listen to music to make sure that everyone stays in a good mood, and we generally stick with generic stations so that no one's offended or no one actually gets distracted, but instead just kind of a background music and kind of keep people engaged. Tony Wood and Mark Miller agreed. They said that it's important to have something in the background to distract from sensitive conversations that might be happening. For example, when you're desking a deal or when you're up in the sales tower, you wanna make sure you block those conversations you don't wanna get around. So what kind of music are dealers listening to? The census is around country and rock, keeping people engaged and kind of moving on the floor. And Megan Bardo has a specific re recommendation for RJD2. It's kind of a good background music to keep everybody engaged. Well, let's get into the science of this. Let's talk about music and the actual impact of sales based off of studies that have happened in the, in the real world. Interesting we're going to start with is actually a grocery store. Grocery stores did studies to find out what music was actually improving their sales. They saw increases of 34% based off of what kind of music they're playing. It's a great opportunity for you to take a look at in your store. Now it's time for the ultimate face-off between Mozart and Led Zeppelin to see who will win on the sales floor. So let's start out with their different categories. First, time in store. Guess what? Studies show that people are willing to stay longer in stores where the music is lower, a little bit quieter, and a little bit slower, but not too slow. Next, spend. Guess what? Mozart wins again. In a study with restaurants, they found out that the ticket price increased when they played classical music, particularly with alcohol. 51% increases on alcohol spends. Next, distractions. Once again, Mozart's leading out. In particular, the science says that you should actually stay away from music in the top 40 because it could get people distracted, focusing more on the music than actually the buying process. Last, employment engagement. Guess what? This is where Led Zeppelin wins. Music, and particularly music that's faster, actually keeps people working harder and faster, particularly in areas like a sales floor where you want them engaged, you want them excited. So the recommendation that everybody had on this post was to focus more on your customers and understand the demographics that you're focusing on and how it affects the people inside your dealership. Make sure that the music you pick keeps everybody moving and exciting. If you want to see the information that we found about the science behind music and sales, go to the post. And we'd like you to share what kind of music you're listening to in your dealership. And even more important, have you seen an impact on your sales by the music that you're listening to? Go out and share on drivingsales.com.